Which country is the best for van life? Our search continues as we move on from Germany and take a flight to the small European country, Portugal. Which for my Americans out there is about the size of the state of Indiana, for reference. So much of Portugal is on the coast, so it's gotta be amazing for van life. Not only am I changing locations and upgrading my converted van, but I'm also changing tactics. I think van life is way better shared with another person. So let's begin this new adventure. experience before but you have to have because these experiences to have them so the silver lining is um i had the experience now don't ever have to have it again i hope just in case you want to know about portugal when you first arrive taxis only take cash um so i waited in line for a really long time for a taxi which it was very very busy at the airport another thing to tell you and then they're like i'm like do you take card and they're like no the address of the hotel that I had booked it didn't have like a proper number, so I knew I needed to kind of like ask the taxi if he could get there because if I could just put it in an Uber like that, it would take me somewhere wrong. But he couldn't find it and he stopped the meter and took me back to this other place, which is a bigger chain of hotel. There's two next to each other. I'm like, just drop me off here. I'll see if they have any rooms for me. Hi, um, I don't have a reservation, but I was wondering if you have any rooms. Is there any way to like get a room and like wait here. I don't know where to go. I was so stressed, so tired. It was two in the morning. Both of the hotels were completely booked up for the night. So I was just I'm like, can I please just sit in her lobby? And she let me. And then at like 3 a.m. she's like, so someone didn't show, so we can give you this room. They're not gonna come. So I paid 95 euro for sleeping for a few hours and then I booked another room at this hotel so I have paid like over $400 just being here not to mention that I randomly got a little six piece thing of vegetarian sushi tiny and I could tell it's been frozen before I got to the register 14 euros to sit down and try and charge my phone, which is at 10%, and my cord is not working to charge my phone. It's been stressful. There's this, the people here seem really friendly and really helpful and kind, so that's cool. We are going to do van life here. We're going to go pick up a really fancy, big, nice van from Siesta Campers. I'll put the link down below. And I'm really terrified to drive. Cause I have to drive this thing. Exploring Portugal. We're gonna get out of the city and see what happens. I'm judging by how, what has happened so far. I really hope that it gets better. Let's go. My friend Layla is here and we're at Siesta Campers in Lisbon, Portugal. And we are getting a van here. Uh, we're getting a, a very, very, very big van here. That, this is going to grow me as a person a lot. Okay, I will be stressed, but um, we're gonna go through the whole rundown on it first, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to drive it. I'm kind of tempted to get this chocolate. It's chocolate. It's not like you're gonna have the space. It's true. Because they literally take this whole thing. We did a full tour around also, which is I think their biggest fan. But in this situation, I'm really excited, I'm nervous to learn how to drive a big vehicle. And I told you I was going to do this. So I'm going to do this. I'm just terrified, but um, you can't really learn things unless you like go out and do them. I don't think we need those. Why? What, what are they for? Tennis. What do you mean like <laughs> paddle? I don't even know where we use those at. This is our, sh our personal onboard chef. Layla's getting all the kitchen stuff moved in. And then we're going to drive it for the first time. Um, we're going to try to avoid tolls because I said here in Portugal is some of the uh, heaviest tolled roads. So it's very expensive to drive on the highways and stuff. So we're going to try and also navigate that. All right, so we got the Grand California. Okay. 
The fanciest of fancy. So it's basically a spaceship. I'm gonna give you a very quick look on the inside. So we have a bathroom, table, kitchen, and we're gonna move in and I'm gonna show you this all in depth whenever we're in a more scenic location because that's, I wanna do a little tour of it. That's just the basics, but it's time to try and drive. That's my main concern. That's what I want to just get done with first. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Done this before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> You've driven before. It's the same thing. Just because there's so much space behind. I'll just turn it on first. Just focus on going right, and then we'll go from there. Turn this on. And I'm right here. I don't know how to turn it on. You've got to push the pedal. Yeah. That's there you a thing. Go. You have to push the brake in to turn it on. Yeah, because it it oh. mimics a manual basically. Oh. See, I've never. Okay. I feel, like, I feel like a child. That's okay. How are we looking? Good, how are you looking on your side? I can't see anything. Yeah, I think it seems bigger than it is. No, it's definitely big, as big I as know, it seems. I know, but you're literally like... Oh my god! I'm so proud! <laughs> oh my god! We're we're massive bus! <laughs> I can't tell if you were behind me. Oh. oh, there's a little fucking line. Excellent. <laughs> Why are we going to the terminals? We're just catching another flight. Again. Uh oh. Okay. Let's somehow <laughs> just keep going. Oh, it's fun. Wait, what are these people doing? I know what's going on. I'm no, you're good. You're good. My nerves are getting me. No, it's fine. I want to get out of the city. We we are. <laughs> oh my it's God. fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> And we've got to stop here and give these people away. Um, when do I go? Yeah, there you go. She's mastered the roundabout. This is a lot more you know, stressful than it looks like on camera, I'm sure. It's, it's <laughs> different when you, you've got like a brand new vehicle that's bigger to what you're used to. And I've never driven here in Portugal. Yeah, so exactly. All the roads. Oh shit. I need no, to it's get fine. Over. Trust me, people are scared of you. I need to get all the way okay. over. Can you like put your arm out maybe whenever we go? I don't know how to open the window. We're good. Yeah, I've given him time. Tell me if I can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Can I? Can I see yes. It? It's fine. Okay. Oh. I can't see anything. <laughs> like I'm blind. Can I make this it is fine. Here? Yes. Oh my God. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> We made it. We made it here in Portugal. <laughs> uh, we drove outside of Lisbon and I'm very proud of both of us because together Leila helped me with the roundabouts, which I'm American, so I don't really know much about. <laughs> we went through a lot of roundabouts and now we're by the coast, which is like all the stress of the day of the weekend just is gone because this, this it's so gorgeous. I'm already in love with Portugal and it's the first time seeing it. So <laughs> it's so pretty. <sighs> I'm so grateful for the things that I get to do and also to be able to see my home from here and we'll be able to go back to that tonight and sleep by this water tonight in our in a home that we can stand up in. <laughs> We had a little walk and was, like I said, I keep saying it's so beautiful. It's a little chilly and a little windy and a little rainy now, but we found the parking spot for the night, which is right next to the water. And hopefully I don't know a ton about Portuguese rules, but it's pretty laid back. I think if you just respect everything, it's like, it's, it just feels very private in here. It literally feels like I'm driving a house around, but once you get in here, it feels like a house <laughs> on the inside. Literally, it's just like, look, there's like a little lighthouse over there. Bam. Take my shoes off because we're in for the night. What an adventure. I'm just shocked that I, I've made it this far in life <laughs> to be able to do this stuff. Like, 
I'm like I want to encourage you like if you feel like you can't do things and you go to do them you can't but once you start doing them enough you can so sometimes you're gonna make mistakes and sometimes things aren't gonna go very well um, but that's how you learn and you have to see all of these learning things as very positive because if I didn't make all the mistakes that I have and went through all the things that I have and the stress that I have I wouldn't have learned to be able to do this I never thought I'd be in this huge massive van in Portugal along the coast driving internationally like I'm a timid and anxious person so I didn't think I could do that and I worked my way up to it baby steps okay you can't just like throw yourself into something you can and you definitely will learn that way but it is good to also get ready the nice thing about this is the fridge it turns on and off like, so it's not always running but we Layla got a bunch of food from the breakfast at the hotel <laughs> and then we took a bunch of free food and there's even wine there just for fun have a bottle of wine that we took so this is all free food in here and I mean I need to budget after everything the whole hotel situation which has still not been resolved that was a lot I ended up paying like over $400 in hotels just for two nights in Lisbon I'm so glad to have a bathroom like I can't tell you how nice that is you know what they say we're going home it's a happy wife that's right <laughs> oh <my laughs> secret to domestic bliss <laughs> Floors are very easy to clean. Mm -hmm. You're dirty my floors. I'm not dirty my floors. Ow. <laughs> These are our neighbors for the night. Here, and then on this other side, we have this lady and her dog. Chill vibes. I don't know, this is the life, isn't it? This is the life. It's not It's like. Got the whole. Where's our satellite dish? Yeah. And our house is this funny. Is literally. <gasps> <laughs> We're like, whoa! Look, Wait, that's. How many more lights? I don't know. That, that's so high tech. Oh my god, that's so cool. This We're is literally such in a, a cool van. It is. We're in a spaceship. Let's Wait. get to bed, Layla. We are one now. <laughs> <laughs> like this is what that beauty sleep. like me and her it's it's a good size bed for a van but we're gonna have the same sleep schedule and everything so, so i'm getting the side where someone can put their hand in and just grab my face <laughs> <laughs> but i prefer to have fresh air when i'm sleeping and my fan of course we have the ports here that charge this is it's so luxurious compared to what i'm used to for van life as you guys know all right Better. Great day. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is so beautiful. It is a beautiful morning. Oh, the sun. The sun is out. Just in the basement here. No, I want to get on top of ours. Anything you can do, I can do better. I just want to see what's up there. I want to see what's up there on my drone. Probably just the roof. That's true. Got to make the green drink. We are running low on water and stuff. One bottle of water left. You want one as well? I would love one. You want some milk? Actually, I'm going to go yogurt. I need some things. I feel like even if they were like, well, you can only use the toilet if you buy something. And I, I clearly... <gasps> <gasps> Why is it that low? Well, we're at 30. Yeah, well, once we drive, it'll charge a little.
store. So this is this is a Portuguese mango, and it just you just can tell that this tastes good. Papaya. We got eggs because we need protein. Nuts. I got this random. Um, they had vegetarian stuff there, so this looked interesting. Apples and tomatoes. Avocado, quinoa, gonzo beans, um, chickpeas, chickpeas. I got kefir for probiotics. Smart. Keep us healthy and yeah. alive. If you want to know the best of the rice, it's jasmine rice. Oh, baby wipes essential. We were lacking these, so now we can be a little bit cleaner. Yeah, a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna use And we got ocean side views for our home for the night. Let me smell it. Oh yeah, that sounds different. I'm gonna feel really gross too. That's okay. Not a game right now. Oh, you've banned us from showering. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch <laughs> ugly dirty girls. <laughs> I have banned us from showering, especially when you used all the water to wash your shoes. It was an accident. <laughs> she used like uh what was it? Like 50% of the That was a pretty funny to catch yeah. that film. Well you that didn't tell me you were doing it. 50% of our water, she accidentally spilled everywhere. But so you, now, we get, now we can't get a shower. But you learn through mistakes in life. Mm. Mm. That is so sweet. It's like candy. It's like as sweet as candy. Mm. That might be the best mango I've ever This had. is the best it mango I have ever had. Flavor? Mm. Health conscious rat. Gonna get you a five a day. Hey, little guy. Right, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for joining us on our first couple days of fan life in this, uh, I'm gonna say, luxury fan. Um, stay tuned for the next video. I love you very much. Stay extraterrestrial.